What is up YouTube? This is Jim with JimLopez.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to use Jasper's new art tool. At the time of this recording uh, I was just granted access. So I'm in Jasper.ai website and I got a pop-up here that says welcome to art school. You imagine it, Jasper creates it and it's giving me a, a little bit of a walkthrough of how to do it. So I'm going to go and hit next. And it's giving me uh, keywords. Keywords are critical for creating amazing images. So it's giving me giving me some information. I'm gonna go ahead and hit next. All right, different styles. All right, medium. And this, okay, this is another unique input to help guide. All right, I'm just kind of going through see what it tells me. All right, your art will appear. On the top right in about five seconds. All right. All right. So congratulations. Want your image featured on an AI art gallery? Okay. Click on the screen below. Okay. Let me go ahead and close this now. So right here on the t on the left, it's uh, Jasper's art new. We'll go ahead and click on it. And it says start with an image description. So I have. Grassy area, 3D rendering. Let me see. Let's go ahead and do um, ultra realistic photo of a robot on the beach using his laptop. Uh, and then I believe it says uh, to use commas so I'm gonna go ahead and put professional photograph okay I'm gonna leave this other part empty for now uh, once we start messing around with it so there's different styles you have 3d render it's giving you a list of different ones I'm gonna leave it none for now. You can put the type, I guess. Um, like if it's a canvas. Artist, you can choose from different artists. We'll go ahead and mess with this in a minute. All right, different modes and keywords. I'm gonna go ahead and create. Let's see what it gives me. All right, so give me four options I have this one here it's a little robot this one with the laptop and not exactly alrighty I'm gonna put uh, ultra realistic photo of a robot working on working on the beach using his laptop create Okay, so it's giving me four, uh, four other options as you can see. Uh, this tool, you're gonna have to play around with it a little bit. So I got ultra realistic photo of a robot. And it is kind of giving me what I want, but it's not the photo. So let's just go ahead and put, um, let's try, let me try canvas. Let's just see what, what changes by doing canvas. Okay, so it gave me four different new ones. Not exactly what I'm looking for yet. Um, you know what, just to ultra realistic photo, uh, robot walking on the beach using his laptop. I'm just gonna put for this time, robot. Alrighty, let's go ahead and leave this none, start there. So this time it says 
ultra realistic photo of a robot, a professional f photograph. Okay. And I forgot to put on the beach. All right. Let's see what it looks like with just him, the robot on the beach. All right, so this would be close. This is a very good picture. Ultra realistic, yes. There's a robot, professional photograph. He's on the beach. So this is kind of what I would imagine if that's what I was searching for. So I would use this image. Um, most of the way I'm going to be using it is for blog posts. If I'm writing about something and I'm, I'm going to be looking for a photo, this is a quick and easy way to grab custom one. Um, so that's how I'll be using it. Let's go ahead and try something else. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, save that. And this time, I'll... Let's see, ultra realistic photo of a beach. I oh, already did of a. Let me see what what else would be um, of a boat on the beach. Beautiful, exactly what I'm looking for. So this is what I would think of when I would think of a ultra realistic photo of a boat, professional photograph on the beach. So as you can see, you just gotta mess around. Um, these are all good pictures. And um, the artist, if you wanted to do Van Gogh, you can go ahead and click here and try that one. We'll see what it does. Alrighty. So these are the four pictures it came back with. As you can tell, it has that Van Gogh style. And um, there's a boat on the beach. Okay, we'll try one more. Let's go ahead and do Dr. Suit. No, let's try. This is Andy and so Adams. This is a professional photographer. Let's go ahead and do the mode happy. Let's let me see what else. Happy, create. And as you, as you can see, it just takes a few seconds. Okay, so I believe that artist did a lot of black and white pictures so if you're looking for black and white this is what would come out so these are same inputs just different um different styles different artists let's go ahead and go back to none and i would try style um illustration we'll give this one a try So these are another group of pictures that will do the job. Let's try one last thing here. Um, let's do, let's change it up to see if it'll actually take it. Uh, let's do a photo of a speedboat. And we'll go ahead and do none here. And let's see what we come out with. Okay, yeah, so not exactly, but it's a speedboat. Yeah, it's a speedboat. Um, that speedboat coming out of the water. So as you can see, this one right here, not sure. 
So this is going to happen at times where it's just a photo that doesn't make sense. I don't know what this front part is of the boat. Um, so as you, as you can see, you just got to mess around with it. And uh, let's try one last. It's, it's a realistic speed boat. Okay. With, oh, let's just go boat. With a robot driver. Okay, as you can see, this is not, um, I would have to mess around with it a little bit more. As you can see from this tool, it's basically spending a little bit of time and figuring out what works for you and which one will provide the best um, images that you're looking for. Like I said, I just barely started playing with this tool. Um, there's so many different ways to uh, manipulate it. So go ahead and give it a try. Um, if you like this video, please subscribe, hit the like button. And if you haven't tried Jasper, I'll put a link, uh, 10,000 free words. All right. Thank you. See you in the next video.